Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. For those of you who don't know, I started Grumpy Old Fart to express my political and social opinions and to say things that I felt needed to be said. Unfortunately, YouTube, YouTube started giving me strikes. As a hedge against this happening, I have created backup YouTube channels, Grumpy Old Gamer and Grumpy Old Ufologist. I also created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can find all of my stuff there, including my political opinion and current events. The link to my Rumble channel, as well as links to, to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a Star Trek The Role Playing Game story, Barroom Blitz. Yeah, this is this is a this was a fun one. Uh, I play the old Star Trek, the, the old FASA, FASA, FASA Star Trek role playing game. To me, it's the best one, and you know, y'all feel free to disagree if you want. It's okay, but this is the game that I play. <clears throat> I was playing in my friend Tim's game. Tim is an excellent game master, and I really enjoy playing in his games. He's very experienced. He's very knowledgeable. He's he's got a great imagination, good head on his shoulders, very very lot of lot of common sense. Uh, Tim Tim's one of those guys that can take a game even if he doesn't know much about it and still run it. He's got that gift. He's that good. If you're out there, Tim, love the hell out of you, man. I was the science officer on the cruiser Kanavalov. Um, and we'd stopped at an independent base in the Triangle. For those of you who don't know, the Triangle is the area between the Klingon, Romulan, and Federation territories where the, where the borders meet. There's a little un, a disputed area of, of neutrality, and they call it the Triangle. Um, we had just completed a series of missions, and we were due for some downtime. The captain, b being played by my friend Bobby, had allowed us to leave the ship in groups of six so that we could visit the local shops and relax a bit. Yes, you know, shore leave. That's cool. I agreed to beat the ship's counselor, played by my good friend Sharon, at a local popular tavern for a drink. And in full disclosure, Sharon and I were dating at the time, so it was, you know, it was cool. Um, <clears throat> when I got there, the tavern was very busy. Groups of Andorians, Romulans, Klingons, Gorns, and other crews were there, and tensions were starting to run high. They were running high before we got there, before I got there. In an effort to calm the situation, I offered to buy a round for the entire bar, the entire tavern. I said, my, my quote was, I'm going to buy everybody a drink for all my good friends. Uh, apparently somebody didn't like that. I got hit with a chair, that's the last thing I remember. Right there, that was it. I was down. Um, I ended up waking up in the brig on the ship. As it turns out, the Klingons had been harassing our crew, and the Gorns and Romulans were about to square off as it was. Gorns and Romulans don't get along at all. Just saying. Nobody apparently wanted to be friends, so my line really set them off. Uh, the bar fight that ensued was epic. I didn't even get to partake. In any bar fight... Always, always, always bet on the Gorn. <clears throat> uh, I, you just, you, you always bet on the Gorn. Gorns are seven feet tall. They're big reptilian guys. They're impervious to almost everything. If you've ever seen the original series episode, Arena, Kirk fights one on a planet. In order to fight that guy, he had to build a makeshift cannon out of bamboo with, with gunpowder and, and, and shot, diamonds for shot. Gorns are tough, okay? Imagine a group of them in a bar fight with Klingons and Romulans and humans and Andorians. Oh, my Lord. The Gorns decimated the Romulans right off the bat easily and then went after the Andorian merchants. <laughs> um, local security showed up and, frankly, nobody noticed. It was, it was that big of a fight. The surrounding buildings, their, their people started getting involved. I mean, the shops from around the the area up and down the street started getting involved. It, the fight spilled out everywhere. Uh, the Klingons and our crew were pretty evenly matched, but after the Andorians were done, the Gorns made short work of our crew. One of the Klingons drew his disruptor and shot the Gorn captain. <laughs> Basically, the Gorn laughed and 
killed the Klingon. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. The ship's counselor, my friend Sharon, drug my unconscious body out the back where the local security arrested us. We woke up in the brig. <laughs> I'd like to say I enjoyed that fight, but I didn't get to do a damn thing. <laughs> Shades of Deep Space Station K-7 with Scotty and Chekhov and, and the gang, you know. Oh, well. Sometimes it's not about the starship. Sometimes it's about a good left hook, you know. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.